Hey guys, I decided to do a first cut, first real cut on the uh, Slover bow ties and see if I could fix a couple things that I wasn't thrilled with. Uh, you can see I did a little bit of work on the chamber. I redid the valve job because I, I needed to because I put guides in it. Uh, as far as our liquid, we look good. You can see it hits that uh, boss. It actually has a little bit on the left side of the the valve. If you can see the valve, we got a little bit on the the other side of the valve. We got a nice wide spot on the chamber. We got splatters all the way across the plug. Looks good. Looks damn good. Okay, the entire port was gone over. I did. Uh, I took out. I wound up making the roof a little wider. I wound up making the short side radius a little bit wider. It it definitely gained a few cc's. There's no question about it. The uh, the pinch I just went over and made sure it was nice and straight and uh, gave it a, a very light burr. Not a rough. Burr. It had the real rough burr before. It's got the light burr texture on it now because it makes it easier for me to use the Sonic with the light burr texture. And I didn't want to make these too thin. But if we look straight down, I think that looks good. I'm pretty happy with that. Now, I didn't want to do a complete re-engineering on these. I wanted to uh, see if I could improve them a little bit. So, that's what the intake looks like. Let's take a look at the short side. Okay. Let me see if I can move that light a little bit. Okay, I think that looks better. Okay, the short side I think is laid back a touch more than my bow ties. Uh, but I didn't, I didn't actually uh, change that at all. All I did is I widened it and made sure I didn't go too thin. It's nowhere close to being thin. I redid uh, the chamber a little bit. Actually, it looks like I forgot to do this corner. That far right corner of that chamber, it looks like I forgot to do. Okay, as far as the exhaust, I think the, you know, the, the throat is a little too big to begin with, so, sorry. Uh, I didn't want to uh, change that much. I did take a, a sand roll and smoothed out some of the real rough burr around the top. As far as the bowl itself, I did take some area out of the bowl. And I did so according to my air speeds. Okay. There's one thin spot, but it's it's not that thin and it's it's right in here. It's like 125, which is which is fine. I have no problem with 125 on an exhaust. You know, especially if it's away from, from other things. It's got plenty of water around it. It should be fine. But if you take a look, that's uh, that's an existing contour. You know, I just... There's not much I can do with it. It's already a little bit lower than I would like. So that's going to be the way it is. All right, guys. Sorry for all the background noise. we got a nasty storm happening right now. I expect to get cold into work at any second because... Lightning took us out. But uh, if you pay attention, you can tell where I took a little area out. And uh, notice I did not change the opening at all. And I really didn't change much on the short side radius on this side at all. This is exactly the way it was. Can't get it to focus. Okay. Did some work on this side of the short side radius. Really didn't change the shape much because it was relatively good shape. But then again, I had worked on that before, so it wasn't it wasn't a, a slover curve. It was probably it was way bigger than they originally had it. I'd love to know what what these originally flowed, but you know, probably better than last last when I measured them. Okay, I tend to forget 
to show you guys the bore. But you can see the uh, the dicum hits the chamber and just hits the cylinder a little bit, and you can see it splatters around. Okay. This was the eight-year-old flows that uh, eight-year-old flows, eight-year-old uh, grinding I did over the slover grinding, and you can see you can see everything on there. Okay, and I tried to work off of those numbers. So here we have pluses and minuses for Rune by Charlie first new cut. Plus plus plus. Minus, minus, plus, 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 plus. Okay, some important numbers. 300, 198, 202. Not bad, I'll take, I'll take that as a step up. 500, 270, 277. 0.567, 278, 281. Okay, and we top out around 287. It actually, before this number, it, tap, it topped out at 283 before that lift. Okay, as far as our swirl, plus, minus, plus, 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 minus, minus, plus, plus. The swirl curve is pretty good. You really can't complain about the swirl curve. Right where we're going to be running, it's, it's right on the money, really. As far as the exhaust, now, as far as I'm concerned, the exhaust outlet is too big to begin with. So I'm not going to change that. But the roof of the bowl was narrower than I thought it should be for the outlet of the bowl. So I took some area out of that, made sure I didn't make it too thin. Okay, plus, plus, plus. Plus with a noise, plus with a noise, minus, oh, this is actually a minus, 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 I got a minus right in, right in the mid-range here, but I got big gains above it. Now, I did make the port a little bit larger, okay? It's still not nearly as big as, let's say, a Sportsman 2 exhaust. Those are way bigger. But how did we do as far as, here, 300? 158 and change, 150. That's a big step back. And that was from this this noise. That's where the short side is working really well. But it's coming off the short side and going up to the roof and causing turbulence. And you can hear that on the bench. Okay, 500, 194.1, 209 and change. That's a nice step up. Step up, step up, step up, and take a look at how much it, it goes crazy with the big pipe now. That well, Those were the numbers with the inch and seven-eighths pipe. It actually beats my port at the top end. And at .567, we got 212 and 235.1. Let's take a look at our air speeds. Okay, intake air speeds. How'd we do? Plus, 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 measured at 0.567. Because we're moving more air through it, I would expect them to go up. This is a little interesting. I lost a lot here because I widened the bowl. I widened the roof, and I widened the short side radius. That took a lot. It went from 180 168. It took that speed down quite a bit. But in doing that, the other side went up quite a bit. They almost changed places, really. But you got to remember, these numbers are passing more air. And the short side radius too fast in the middle. Well, guess what? Now it's too fast on the center of the cylinder, which was widening. Okay, now can I widen it some more? If I can get the Sonic in there and take a look at it, I could. But I don't know if I want to. It's a, it's a nice head the way it is. It's probably about 204 cc's. 
you know, about the same as my other ones, and it's uh, damn close to the same flows. I would say uh, for a swap meat head that I did a little work to, I think that would make a pretty nasty street ride if you put a decent size header on it. Can't put a small header on it. The exhaust is too big as far as I'm concerned. All right, guys. Let me just take one other view. Okay. A good look at that. I think that looks damn good. I'm pretty happy with that the way it is. Pretty happy. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night. I just fiddled with the light. I wanted you guys to see that.